Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Or you're probably like, who is this lady on my screen? And my name is Whitney, so I have not made a video in a really long time. So we'll see how this goes. <laughs> this is going to be my entire pregnancy so far update. Um, I will explain like what happened and why I kind of fell off the rails and quit posting. I am now 21 weeks pregnant, so I'm really out of breath. <laughs> I'm like out of breath just from setting up the camera, so if you're like, dude, you're breathing heavy. That's why. I'm always out of breath, like nonstop. I am, I don't know if I mentioned, but I'm currently 21 weeks and a few days pregnant. I'm going to be doing a beginning to 20 week pregnant update, um, and here's why. I did film a, like, five week pregnancy update in the beginning and I was planning on doing them like every five weeks or so but I got really sick I couldn't do anything which I will explain all of that I just deleted that video and decided to just make a full <laughs> huge 20 week pregnancy update so if you guys can see this mess I'm sorry it's really messy in this room we just moved about two months ago or so I'm gonna film in the nursery but I was having some issues with the lighting, so I'm in our other bedroom that we have. Um, I do want to do a bunch of videos I have in mind. I'm, I'm sorry, my brain's all over the place. You might as well just grab some popcorn and a drink. <laughs> this is going to be a long video. But anyways, um, there is some videos I have in mind that I want to post. I do want to do like a whole nursery tour, and like a nursery video. We haven't even started on the nursery. My husband's been slacking. We need to paint. We have a lot to do. I will take like before and after pictures because we're gonna come like redo the whole room. I need to do a gender reveal video. I need to do a name reveal video. Um, I have a diaper bag review slash, did I post that video? I'm gonna have to check and see if I post that video already, but if I haven't, I do have an itsy ritzy diaper bag review. I can't remember if I posted it or not. Um, I will be doing a what's in my diaper bag video, what's in my hospital bag, um, a baby haul. I've already bought a bunch of baby stuff, so once I announce the gender, I will do a baby haul. I'm going to do a baby shower haul. I have all these plans for baby, baby videos, and I'm just now getting started at 20 weeks pregnant, 21 weeks, because my pregnancy has been a disaster, <laughs> to say the least. Um, obviously I'm very thankful that I'm pregnant and I'm very thankful that we're getting, giving him to have this opportunity, but it has not been easy. I'm going to explain all of that in this entire video. My feet are probably going to fall asleep, which they already are. I do have a house tour filmed of our old house. I would love to post that for you guys because, um, we did kind of downgrade, which that's a long story. We downgraded in size and, and um... We were renting our previous house from my husband's family and we actually bought this house so it is kind of a downgrade because we cannot afford that kind of house. We just got really lucky to live there for about a year and a half. So I do have a full house tour video of that house that I would love to post for you guys if you want to see. Our house right now is not set up yet. I do want to do a house tour of this house but it's not ready and it's not set up. A nursery tour will probably be up before that because the nursery is going to be our main focus in the next few months. So if you guys are wondering, let's talk about pregnancy. That's what this whole video is about. I, my due date is February 3rd. I've never even mentioned that, I don't think, on this channel. Um, which I kind of think is going to be born in January, but I just like have a hunch, you know? I don't know, maybe that's just stupid. But my due date is February 3rd, 2019. Ah, which is coming up. And um, I feel like it's, it's, my pregnancy has gone by so fast. Maybe because it's been really hard. I don't know. <laughs> Let's just start from the beginning. I'm going to leave some stuff out and I'm going to stumble over my words and repeat myself and I'm just going to be annoying. But there's a lot to say and I'm trying to say it fast because I don't want this video to be like 30 minutes long. <laughs> okay, so in the very beginning I did film like a five week pregnancy update and I was going to post it. But actually from like six weeks, five, six weeks, all the way up until about 17, 18 weeks... I had severe nausea and vomiting every day. Um, it was like not even just in the morning, it was sometimes at night. I was like throwing, I was throwing up every single day, every single morning, multiple times a day. I was just so sick, you guys. Like, I didn't feel like doing anything. I 
wanted to sit on the couch or lay in bed or I just didn't feel like doing anything at all. I was just in this huge rut. I felt like I was constantly just sick. I felt like I had the flu for like that amount of time, like five weeks to like 18 weeks. Like I just felt like I had the flu. It was just really miserable. I couldn't get, I really wanted to post videos, but I could not get myself motivated. I had no energy. I was just at a really low point and I did not want to get up and film a video or post it or do anything because I was just so sick. My doctor prescribed me nausea medicine. Um, I think it was called Finnegan and that really seemed to help, but it would make me really sleepy and I was already exhausted as it was from just being sick and pregnant and so I was just napping all the time and sleeping all the time and, and then around I want to say I was like 17 I was like 18 weeks I think so eight, 17 weeks 18 weeks I don't know I babysit my niece and she and her whole family had previously been sick with the virus that was going around, which I knew there was something going around, but anyways, they wanted me to watch her, so I did babysit her, and um, I actually, like, this was kind of my fault, but I went to their house to pick her up, which is where they had, their whole family had previously been sick like that. I immediately got sick the next day. I was... TMI, but I was vomiting, I had diarrhea, I couldn't keep anything down. Like, I, even though I had, excuse me, even though I had pregnancy nausea and stuff, morning sickness, I could still eat. Like, I would kind of throw up in the mornings and I would go eat and go on with my day and then maybe throw up later, but it was like, I could still eat. I couldn't eat at all that day. Um, no matter what I try to eat, it would come back up. I knew something was wrong and it was outside of pregnancy range because I could just tell. Um, I started to feel exhausted. I couldn't even keep drinks down. You know, I, I had coming out of both ends. <laughs> I know, gross, but I, I was felt helpless. Like I was exhausted. I felt like I was weak. My body felt weak. And finally I called my mom while she was at work and I was like, I think I need to go to the hospital. Like I can't stop throwing up. I was literally throwing up probably every five minutes or less. I could not stop. And I was like, I think something's wrong, like I need to go to the hospital. Like I was aching and tired and I felt just exhausted and you know, obviously I'm pregnant and like not being able to drink or eat is like really bad. So um, my husband wasn't able to get off work. So my parents actually came and picked me up and drove me, which our emergency room is like 35 minutes away. They drove me to the emergency room. Um, we had a trash can in the car, had my head in the trash can all the way to the hospital. And sure enough, I caught this virus that was going around. Obviously when you're pregnant, your immune system is really not that good. It's, it just is not as good as a regular person's immune system. Like it's super easy for you to catch things. They did me into the emergency room and they found out I was dehydrated, which is obviously extremely dangerous when you're pregnant. I had to get an IV and I was still throwing up and having diarrhea throughout the day non-stop. They kept giving me Zofran and trying some Finnegan again and trying some different medicines and I was still throwing up. The medicines only kind of helped. Um, they gave me I think th three or four bags of fluid in my IV the entire, I, the entire, entire time I was in the emergency room. I actually got admitted into the hospital and I was there for two days um, while well, I stayed there. I went there in the morning, you know, and I spent the night and the next day in the evening I got to go home. So two days and like one night. But like my husband came and stayed with me overnight and um, some of my cousins came in um, to make sure I was all right. And my mom and dad, like I said, was with me all day long. and. It was just miserable, you guys. I would not want my, anybody to go through that. Just, I have had my IV in my hand because I have really bad veins and that was just so uncomfortable and painful. I couldn't keep anything down, you know, like every, it was just a huge, huge mess. They had to do an ultrasound, make sure the baby was okay. The baby was kind of dehydrated, so they literally just kept pumping fluids into my veins as fast as they could. Um, 
Finally, the first night at about like 7 p.m., I quit vomiting. I did not vomit anymore after that, but they still wanted me to stay the night due to dehydration. So the next morning, I had more fluids put into me. I was feeling a little better. I still had some other end issues, but I wasn't throwing up anymore. Um, my husband, actually, the next morning after we stayed in the emergency room, my husband actually caught the sickness that I had and he started throwing up and diarrhea and all that stuff. So he actually had to leave the hospital and I had to stay by myself because he was extremely sick and he could not stay in the hospital, obviously. He needed to get home and get better. So he actually had to leave. My cousins, my, one of my cousins that came to visit me caught the sickness. Like it was highly contagious, I guess. I'm really, really surprised my parents did not catch it. They must be like, their immune systems must be like amazing or something because they were with me all day long and neither of them caught it. My mom was really helping me out. I'm so thankful they didn't catch it. Unfortunately, my husband did, my cousin did, and they're like, it just started spreading around the whole family after that. It was a mess. Anyway, so they pumped me with some more fluids the second day. I finally got to have a liquid diet and eat like popsicles and chicken broth and stuff like that. And then finally I got to go home. Um, I was feeling pretty all right. I was feeling pretty good by the time I went home. I was pretty hydrated again and so I was feeling pretty good. Um, the, the sickness is only about like a one to two day sickness. So my husband got over it pretty quickly and I'm just really thankful that's in the past. And we got over that and we're moving forward because that was miserable. So after that, I honestly didn't have any morning sickness after that. I didn't throw up anymore. I mean, I got I get nauseous still sometimes. I have to take my Finnegan sometimes because I get nauseous every now and then. Or if I eat like the wrong foods, <laughs> I will get nauseous. But I have not thrown up since that hospital stay. I don't know what happened. I don't know if the all those fluids like cured my morning sickness or what happened. But I did not throw up after that hospital stay. Then, when I was 19, 20 weeks, which was not that long ago, that had to be 19 weeks, I think, I was not feeling any movement with the baby and I was having really bad cramping. So my doctor told me to go into the emergency room. So I went to a closer one, that's a little different one, that's a little closer, and they admitted me and they found out I was having light contractions at like 20 weeks due to not drink, not having enough water and like getting dehydrated again. I, I tried really hard to drink. Like I thought I was drinking enough and apparently I wasn't. Um, they made me drink a ton of water so they didn't have to give me an IV to make sure they could get the contractions under control. Yeah, I'm sorry you guys, this is an awkward angle but I had to move because I was like my feet were falling asleep and they were hurting so bad. So I'm on my kitchen table. I'm gonna figure out a setup for this new house to film. I just haven't yet. So ignore everything that's going on and let's continue with the video. So I, um, you know, I, I, they made me drink a ton of water. I was having like light contractions, which was not good at all at 20 weeks. And finally they got the contractions under control. <clears throat> and I was able to go home. Ever since then, I've been trying to drink like a gallon of water a day ever since then because I don't want that to happen again. And I feel like that was 100% my fault. But anyway, so that's kind of what's been going on this entire pregnancy, hospital stays, <laughs> all of these issues. Ugh, it's just been a mess, but I'm making it. I feel 10 times better now than I have in a long time. I'm not feeling like, um, I'm not really feeling like sick or dehydrated or anything like that anymore. I've been doing pretty good. I've been more motivated. I'm ready to start in the nursery. I've been shopping like crazy for the nursery. I have so many ideas for it. By the way, if you guys want to in this video, you can comment below and guess what you think the gender is. If you already know, please don't tell people. But I think that'd be fun if you guys wanted to guess in this video before I shared that. Cravings. Um, I did mention in that video I didn't post in the beginning I was really craving wings like I wanted like buffalo wild wings like all the time I did get over that about like eight to ten weeks pregnant and it's weird because I just crave salty things and that's really all like 
cucumbers with salt, tomatoes with salt, um, chips, um, what else? Steak, I do, I do like crave steak a lot. Sometimes I have a craving for cookies, I will admit. Those Halloween Oreos that are out right now are amazing. <laughs> Um, I still do like wings, but not as much as I was before, like obsessed with them. Um, I think that's really it. Um, I had to switch doctors in the middle of this whole pregnancy for some complicated reasons and some issues I have with the previous doctor. So um, that was just like a few weeks ago I switched doctors, which was kind of a hassle and a pain to go through all that. But... Other than that, <laughs> pregnancy has been okay. Uh, did I mention the heartburn? The heartburn is uncontrollable. I have to take Tums so often, like everything gives me heartburn. Every food it seems like gives me heartburn. Like I could like eat some of this pepper right here and it would give me heartburn. Like just everything gives me bad heartburn. That's probably my number one worst symptom at this point in my pregnancy. So I guess you could say this was a 0 to 21 weeks because I am 21 weeks now. Update. But that's pretty much it. I've... Uh, I did forget to mention. I'm not really going to be doing like belly shots or anything like that. Because I have terrible stretch marks. But I will show you my belly today. I might insert some pictures I've taken throughout so you guys can see progression. I have not been consistent taking pictures every week. I know I should, but I have not been. But I do have some pictures from the beginning to now. I might post those so you can see the progression. Otherwise, here's my belly. I won't be showing this every update, but since I have these maternity pants on, I thought I'd be able to show because it covers my stretch marks. You guys can see I will do videos from the beginning so you can see that I am a little bit I wasn't always this big <laughs> but yeah okay now we're gonna go bye <laughs>